In what can be considered its closest competitor, the Oppo Find 7 finds itself up against one of Samsung's best. Hey, it's Joshua Vigar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And this is the Oppo Find 7 versus the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. In this quick look of the Oppo Find 7 and the Galaxy Note 3, we find two different design philosophies at work here. We have the smooth and rounded lines of the Note 3 contrasting with the more angular designs found on the Find 7. And just like the Find 5 before, the Find 7 features a very minimalistic look and a premium feel on top without too many embellishments. The premium version of the Find 7 comes with a carbon fiber back plate that features a woven pattern reminding us a little bit of Motorola's droid line from back in the day. But the Note 3 offers an equal Really、nice feel in the hands, this time with its faux leather textured plastic back cover. The front of the Find 7 is all black with no logos or physical buttons to draw the attention from that large screen. The Note 3, in contrast, does feature Samsung's trademark button setup with home flanked by back end menu. In terms of dimensions, the Find 7 is about a millimeter taller than Samsung's flagship but is also noticeably narrower, which makes it a bit easier to hold in the hand. But the Note 3 is almost a millimeter thinner than the Find 7. The difference in weight between the two devices is almost negligible, though, as only 3 grams really separates the feel in both. For many Note 3 users, its flavor of the large screen experience eventually started to feel normal, and it, because it is so close in size and general feel to the Find 7, we wouldn't be surprised if the same happens with Oppo's newest offering. The premium version of the Find 7 takes the lead in the display comparison, at least if higher pixel density is paramount to you. The 5.5 inch Find 7 is one of the first devices to ship with a 2560 by 1440 display known as Quad HD by Oppo, which translates to a whopping 538 pixel per inch pixel density. I had a great time with the display and it turned out to be one of the most photogenic performers I've handled. In the opposite corner, the 5.7 inch Note 3 is just 1080p with a pixel density of 386. That Doesn't keep the screen from being one of the top performers available now. However, no, no one will really notice or care about the difference in the sharpness, but the difference certainly exists, and you can see the close-up images showing this difference at AndroidAuthority.com. In terms of performance, nominally the Find 7 has a slight advantage over the Note 3, thanks to its upgraded Snapdragon 801 processor. This is the same processor that's powering the new Galaxy S5 and Xperia Z2 by Sony, so the Find 7 is in select company. A version of the Find 7, though, is available with the Snapdragon 800 and a 1080p display, making that light version more in line with current smartphones. And the specs are 2.5 gigahertz in the speed, in a Crate 400 variation CPU, and the Adreno 330 with 3 gigabytes of RAM. Now the Galaxy. Note 3 comes with 3 gigabytes of RAM, also, but the SoC is the Snapdragon 800 instead. Now, in theory, the biggest difference between the two are pretty much just the higher speeds of the 801. But in practice, both are lightning fast and are going to be able to handle most tasks without an area hiccup. Now both phones have large removable batteries, but even without replacing the battery, you should still get more than a full day of usage from either phone. There is a 3,000 mAh unit in the Find 7, while the Note 3 offers a slight advantage by packing an extra 200 mAh. And even better, the Find 7 comes with a special fast charging technology that, according to Oppo, makes it best in class. You should be able to charge up the Find 7 from 0 to 75% in just 30 minutes. Well, a mere five minutes of charging should give you power for two hours of talk time. Now, of course, the Note Three gets the advantage of having a little friend, the S Pen. It is the real differentiating factor here for these two, as those who want a stylus experience will definitely have to go for the Note. Faster charging is an interesting prospect indeed, though, putting points back in the five sevens corner in this case. As we come to the camera comparison, the 13 megapixel Sony Exmor RS sensor of the Find 7 is combined with powerful software features. It's really a promising setup that we cannot wait to try out for ourselves. And on the front, you do get a 5 megapixel camera with a wide lens that enables an 80 degrees field of view. Now, both cameras here have 2.0 aperture lenses, great for low-light photography and for obtaining that blurred effect that plenty of people love in the background. There's also an interesting feature called the super zoom in the Find 7, which combines 10 whole images taken at the same time to create one massive 50 megapixel image with a lot of detail. Another notable feature included is the ability to shoot in RAW format. Now the Galaxy Note 3 is holding its own here. You also get a 13 megapixel rear camera and great image quality with a variety of software features, all of which were probably already familiar to current Samsung users. The ability to record in 4K video did come first in the Snapdragon version of the Note 3, and it is here that both of these cameras share a similarity. 
And finally, in software, the Find 7 runs Android 4.3 Jelly Bean with Oppo's Color OS on top. Now, Color OS has come a long way since the original Find 5 and the Oppo N1 and is going to get another update pretty soon. But Oppo's enhancements found here include support for various gestures as well as a range of widgets and other smaller enhancements. Now, Color OS is actually a pretty full feature software suite that is actually quite thoughtful, including the gesture panel that you bring down from the drop down that allows you to program any number of drawings for a number of different functions. And on the Galaxy Note 3, you get the well-known TouchWiz. Samsung is currently rolling out Android 4.4 to the device, bringing small design changes and KitKat-specific functionality. However, you're still getting pretty much the same experience as ever here with useful features like multi-window and all the S Pen functionality predicated by perhaps less used features like, for example, the Smart Scroll. And so there you have it for this quick look at the Oppo Find 7 and the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. As pen aside, you're looking at the closest competition the Find 7 probably has in terms of size and feel, as well as sheer feature set within the software experience. In either phone, you'll get a great experience, so it's pretty much up to you what flavor of accessibly large phone is better suited to your tastes. Stay tuned for all of the Oppo Find 7 coverage here from the launch event in Beijing, China. Once again, this is Android Authority, your source for all things Android.